side checking out your swing mechanics here. I'll also be emailing a hitting checklist along with this video. Uh, first, their setup. One thing, this is a common mistake in young hitters. Check your toes, your feet. Okay. So the saying I always say is your toes should be inside your back foot. Should be inside your heel. So right now your toes are kind of pointing at the camera. And when that is the case, you tend to lose the ability to push off and attack the baseball. So that's a common flaw. Just check that when you get in the batter's box. And make sure you... And we didn't talk about this today at all. Um, next, we want to make sure we are gathering energy over our back leg 100%. So, the other thing I want to look at here too is your knee. So, we want to be in this, it's almost over the top of your foot. Okay, we want to try to have an angle. And this is why we were doing the T drill, jump forward and backwards. Not sure if you got to that today, but you want to have your knee inside your back foot as well. That'll help you push. And we're going to gather 100% of our energy over our back leg. And you do have 100% of energy on your back leg right now as you're slowly going forward on your st stride. Right now you're in a good spot right there. Again, not counting your back foot, but other than that, front heel lands, and that happens, back knee starts to pinch, hands are standing back right now, which is really good, so that's a pretty good setup right there. Um, when we land, are we in an athletic position? I would just check your front knee again. We were focused on the back one previously. So we want the knees inside of our foot, foot again. Okay, and it looks like that's straight up and down. So just be in that athletic position. Shoulder angle of attack is down, that's good. That means your front shoulder is lower than your back shoulder. That's a good attack angle. Eyes are in front of your belt buckle. Definitely you are, You're in a good spot there. Hands are in the punch position. They are in that punch position. Again, we didn't talk much about this today. Um, but they're back pretty far. And knob pointing at the catcher's toes. So you're in that general vicinity there. I'm guessing that knob probably comes down there. We can maybe get it in that angle. But you're in a pretty good spot. Um, lower half starts swing by a fraction. I'd say you're pretty much on time, but you're in a good spot compared to a lot of young hitters there. Back knee pinches on heel plants, so both of those are very good. Your barrel, as we go to contact now, is your barrel going to be even or above hands until contact? Right now you're in a pretty solid spot, right? Barrel's above the hands, above the hands. Even right there. Okay, we're shining that flashlight on the baseball. So that's a good spot. Hitting into a firm front leg. There you are. Your leg is firmed up. Eyes are straight up over down, up and down, straight up over your body there. Your back toes, we got the shoelaces pointing at the pitcher, which is very good. Uh, let's see if we have much of a drag line. So your foot comes up off the ground a little bit. We don't get much or any of a drag line forward. And I think if we get our foot started in the right spot to begin with, you might be able to get a little bit more push towards the pitcher. Uh, but you're still in a really good spot there. Um, as we finish... Let's see how we finish our swing. We make contact in a good spot. And pretty solid extension. Extension comes after contact as you basically stare down the pitcher with your barrel and straight arms. And that, was, <clears throat> that was pretty good, side. You got a nice body lean over home plate. 
and pretty good finish. We got your back of your jersey here <clears throat> facing towards home plate. We call that replacing the shoulders. So overall, really good swing.